Hey guys, so um, today I came home sick from school and uh, just kind of laid down, fell asleep, woke back up and felt, you know, pretty good. So um, I was, I got up and I decided I was going to wash my leg boots and um, polos and bell boots and stuff. So, um, that's what I did. Um, sorry. So, I washed those, my royal blue polos, and my light teal ones, my white bell boots, my, um, feather bell boots, and my two western ones. I've already wrapped this polo. I was actually wrapping the polo and thought, um, and thought, you know, I haven't done a YouTube video in a while, so why don't I just do that? So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so, um, mm, so I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap my polos. Um, I don't know where to set it, my phone thingy. I'll just set it right here. Oh man, okay, I'll set it right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me, but... Set a rock right here to support my phone. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how well you can see me. Someone's coming down that road. Probably my stepdad. Okay. Anyway, sorry for that pause. Anyway, so I just grab a polo and I throw it over my porch, like just the end of it, throw it over, and then I sit down, well, I'll do this. So, I just take the polo. I just lay it back over itself. I don't Velcro the Velcro together. And then I just... come across like any stickers or something I'll take them off so I don't like to do them too tight because um, because then I feel like it stretches my polos oh. which you don't want you do not want stretched polos because then they don't fit your horse right so I just get to the end, and I just start wrapping down. I like to keep my rollo, my, my rollos. Um, I like to keep my polos and my um, splint boots and bell boots and stuff really clean. There's two. and pretty and I guess you could say perfect. So there's two. There's another one. I like to wrap them pretty quick so I can just get it over with. Sorry if you guys can't see me. Or 
more human. And after I'm done wrapping them, I take the end and I tuck it into itself. Mix it so that it doesn't come unrolled. That was my hand. take off like any um, stickers that were left on after they came out of the washer. Um, I never ever ever put my um, any kind of my boots in the dryer because it will sorry it will actually ruin oh my gosh it will actually ruin your polos. Like, it'll get so hot that they will melt. Trust me, my friend did it before, and she, oh my god, was not happy. Okay, that was the fourth one for the Royal Blues. If you couldn't tell, I really like blue. Like, look at these. Teal blue polos, dark blue polos, blue splint boots, these which have like blue in them. Why is it not focusing? There. Those which have blue in them, my blue splints, classic equines. And then these are just my first pair of splint boots, so I was just not really worried about it. Just something that I could you know, practice putting on and off and get used to not something too special. Oh my god, I hate stuff like this. Like buries itself in the boot. Ow. Uh there, okay. Phew. So my stitching's coming out a little. That's okay. I can always fix them. Okay, so I'm going to do this from a different angle. Or try to, if it'll even let me. Ugh. Okay, that might work. Okay, so here's another polo. Fold into itself, don't Velcro it. And just wrap. Take out any stickers or um, anything that's on it. As you go. I wasn't gonna like take off the stickers and everything like before I put them in the washer but then I was like no I'll just do it afterwards because the washer will pick up a lot of it and then I can just get it when I strap them up afterwards so yeah I'm really sorry that I haven't posted any videos in a long time I've just been like super busy with schoolwork and my horse and um, and the 
rodeo team and just a whole bunch of crap that I have to deal with on a daily basis. And shout out to my boyfriend that puts up with me after everything that I do, after all the times that I am a total ex dipso jerk. He puts up with me like so much, and I really appreciate that from him. This makes me feel so well. My boot cleaned up pretty good. I think. So if you guys um, follow me on Instagram, um, you would have seen that um, I have a picture of a cornet saddle on there. I don't know how to say it, like cornet, quante. I've heard it so many ways. Um, but anyway, so. Um, it's a, I'm just going to call it cornet because that sounds right. Oh, crap. So, ew, that plant stinks. Anyway, um, uh, it's a cornet saddle, and, um, it's brand, it's, um, brand new. You actually go on their website, which is Coronet Saddle Co. Which is co. Dot com, and they have a list of like um, trail riding saddles, um, training saddles, barrel saddles, roping saddles, um, I mean, they've got a huge variety of just saddles. And this one's a barrel saddle. And what you do is you go on there and you find the one you like. And you call them. And the saddles have serial code numbers. And you get the serial code number, which is on their website underneath the saddle. And uh, you call them in, tell them which one you want. Shoot. And you get to, like, basically customize it. Um, so the saddle is a leather saddle, uh, 14 and a half inch, um, which is what I would get, and then, um, uh, has basket weave, um, uh, leather pressings, whatever the heck they call that, where they put the detail on it, it's, so it looks like a basket weave, and it's got some floral, Floral um, designing on it. Just really cute. And it's a black seat and it's got white stitching. So it's really cute. And it comes with, um, they come with everything shown on the picture, which is aluminum stirrups with um, the uh, plastic or the um, rubber um, grips at the bottom of the stirrup which really help you, like, grip your stirrups, of course, which is what they're for. And, um, also comes with a matching back cinch. So I was like, and it's $700 for a brand new one. And I was like, you know, that's a really good price for a really, really pretty saddle that I've heard is absolutely great quality so um yeah so I'm saving up for that and right now I've got like a bucket that <laughs> I've got like 12 or 13 dollars in right now and I'm just gonna like whenever I find some like extra change like on the ground or wherever I'm just gonna <laughs> Um, put it in there, and when it gets like halfway full, 
or so full where I want it, I'm going to count it. And so, plus I'm gonna, I get a lot of Christmas, or I get a lot of money for Christmas. So, um, that will be put in there. <laughs> and, uh, um, extra money, I'm gonna go sell some clothes. So, that money will be put in there. And I'm currently selling some tack, which that money will go in there. So I am actually um, really excited about saving up money for this battle. And, <clears throat> ooh, my voice cracked. Ouch. Um, the saddles um, take 30 days to make. And they ship it right to your doorstep. So, and I think it's free shipping. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I was all for, like, buying a used saddle and whatnot. But, you know, now that I've kind of just been thinking about it, I was like, you, you know, I can buy a really nice, like, um... Billy Cook saddle or something for uh, like $700. But I've heard that coronet saddles are a really, really um, good brand. And on their website, on their website, it says that um, high quality saddles. Um, like high quality but good enough where you don't like empty out your pocket or something so they really want to help you save money I'm gonna put the phone down Let's do that. they want to help they want to help you save money but have a a good nice quality saddle that you like and that will last you a really long time so I was like okay I'm just gonna do that and that way I don't have to stress about looking for a used saddle that I think is going to fit my standards you know fit what I want so I don't have to worry about that but yeah so that was basically my video. I know it was really long. I just wanted to kind of do a talking video and an update kind of thing. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to get off here and go put this stuff back in my tack room. So, I will try to do a video some other day. And hopefully it will be good. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.